didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast, don't blink or you'll miss it! Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Shukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hook back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face! I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. Just a 
flight with that. Impossible! My team has been defeated? Whew! That was a hard-won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bunglehead. Ugh! It's you! The uncultured swine of the Neelute Pala Cup! Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi! It's pathetic! <laughs> what a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable! You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Let's finish this with a water balloon meteor strike! Happening. I trained my fungi non-stop! Maybe I should have been harder on them! <sighs> well, we beat him, but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. I'm feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Far too early, really. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. 
any other opponent, and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that! Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her! Let's go see how she's doing! The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. Yeah! When we send Bongo Head and Buddies into action, it's like clockwork, and we ain't about to stop ticking! <sighs> Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! to reach their limit. One, why did you hold back? Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko, and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters, too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please! Learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends! Enough! 
Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. Pyro One, release the explosion! what you're truly made of. the most important step of all. I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro One along for the ultimate trial? Pyro One? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro One! We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom Orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the Wisdom Orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. I'm sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. That's right. You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it. I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Alhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Come now. Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Oh, Hingen, the arena's been taken over by bad guys! We'll deal with them! Get yourself to safety! Uh, wait a second. Where is the exit? The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltelia's supposed to be the villain! He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm... not far off. You're right about Kaltelia's motivations. 
This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Oh, look at you. <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, Pyro Moing! What's going on? Cautilia added a handy little back door in the Wisdom Orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, who left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse with you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. You selfish double-crashing monster! How could you? Paimons are just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this. But what are we going to do? You don't have any weapons on you and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore! Take your time! Pit fungi against fungi and warriors against warriors! I want the Traveler to see her buddy being destroyed. Then, once her faith is utterly shattered, put her out of her misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. Bongo Head, use your something, anything, water balloon, wake everyone up! This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the Traveler? Is Cautilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, 
But all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Yai Miko! Y you broke the Domain Sealing spell? <laughs> Please! You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Leila, and Hania too! Belhingen, so this was all you're doing! Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here! Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them! Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! What's our is back to normal? Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this crook down. <laughs> Backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control... It's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi! We still have the upper hand! <laughs> Shouldn't get careless! Take cover! 
by a few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd! Miko! Why didn't you stop him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! Invincible. <laughs>